All right, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to do an explanation of the ability system in this game. This game works. The players are not based on ratings. Yes, there are ratings in the game, the number ratings, numerical ratings, and things of that nature. You just don't see them. You don't, you don't have access to them like, say, Madden. What this does, for some people, they might seem like this, this may seem like a limitation. This is not. What this does, this frees you from the humdrum of saying, oh, okay, well, I want this guy to be fast. Let me give him a 99. Oh, I want this guy to be able to break tackles. Let me give him a, a 99 and break tackles. Oh, you, know, you get these pretty much just generic sort of lifeless point attributions that ultimately don't really mean anything to football representation. I mean, you think about, mm, let me see, uh, you think about Adrian Peterson. Someone asks you, what kind of a runner is Adrian Peterson? You're not going to say, oh, Adrian Peterson has 92 speed, 75 strength, you know, um, uh, 82 agility. No, you're going to say, well, Adrian Peterson is sort of like the hybrid between like, I mean, he's fast, he's agile. But he trucks dudes too. I mean, what 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 kind of what, you know? But when he gets out in the open, the head starts bobbing and he is gone, man. You're not gonna catch him. You never really sit down and you know you know you don't explain some of the greats like a Reggie White and say, oh, what kind of player was Reggie White? Oh, well, he he had 92 strength, you know, um, you know, 75 tackle or or 92 tackle, you know, had a high sack rate. Nah, you 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 don't you don't think about it in those terms when you talk about football players. You think about it in terms of what they do, their abilities, what they brought to the game. So, All Pro Football 2K8 takes that idea to the next level with player abilities. Okay, the player ability system is this. As opposed to giving your players attribute bonuses and things of that nature, you say, okay, what kind of player do I want this to be? And you just go and you look through the different attributes, as you can see. I'm looking in the quarterback attributes. These are all the quarterback attributes that are available to you in the game as of 2K8. Now, some people say that this system is flawed. Some people say that it's fundamentally ridiculous because what ends up happening is, is that there's only five or it's five guys or anywhere from 11 guys on your team, just 11 guys on your team that have any real influence on the game. That is ridiculous. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. Bottom line is, you don't see the stats. You pick the attributes. Again, this frees you from the from the from the common idiom of just going and putting 99s on everybody. Look at this quarterback. Quick feet. Player has top-notch agility for his position. That's amazing for a quarterback. A quarterback with high agility in this game dodges tackles better when he's in the pocket. The, the right analog stick, if you flick it, your quarterback does this sort of dodge maneuver. Guys with better feet like that. Do it. We all know quarterbacks that have that ability, but these abilities aren't necessarily always represented properly in other sports titles because they're just, it would just be thrown, oh, I'll have 100 agility. But we don't really know if those abilities are really, 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 really benefiting that position properly in that game because we don't really know what they do. The, ad, the ability system, on the other hand, tells you exactly what it does. Player is good against the run when pursuing ball carriers. Okay, great. Apparently, this is something that we don't really need for my quarterback, but it's available for the quarterback in the event you want to throw it out there. Secure ball bonus. Player is good at holding onto the ball. That might be something worthwhile to give to your quarterback in the event that, you know, you feel like your offensive line isn't that strong because you've put points and abilities in other places or um, you, you put abilities in other players. So your quarterback needs to hold on to the ball because chances are he's going to be taking a lot more hits. Let's, get, let's go to another category. Let's do the running back. Let's get exciting. Running back, acrobatic catches. Maybe you want to create that guy sort of like a, a mix between a Marshall Falk and uh, and and, and uh, who's another predominant wide receiver? A, a Ladanian Tomlinson. Back in the back in his heyday, Ladanian used to pull down like 80 receptions and run for like 1,300, 1,400 yards every fucking year. What this ability, what these, what these abilities do, is allow you to tailor your character based on the kind of guy you want him to be. You want him to be an angle breaker? Cool. Player has a second level charge juke. Now the difference between a charge juke and a second level charge, or the, the, uh, the difference between like um, just a charge juke and a second level charge juke is that once you power up your, um, your charge button, which is in the game, a whole new list of maneuvers and abilities become available to you as a player that other running backs who don't have the ankle breaker ability just don't have access to. 
You see what I'm saying? So ratings are there, numbers are being crunched, but you just ain't dealing with that because what football player really is dealing with numbers? I think this is a really, really smart idea. Abilities. Um, who knows how they could have been expanded if this if this series had just continued? A lot of people are like, well, this 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 system is flawed. I think this system is absolutely awesome based on what it's trying to do. It's not an it's not an attribute system. It's an ability system. To me, it f- portrays NFL football in a much cleaner light. You know what I'm saying? To me, you know what I mean? So that's just my personal opinion. Then of course you got bulldozer player has superior run blocking uh, skills. If you want a running back that's just going to be there to block for another guy or you can give this to your fullback or something like that if you create a fullback you can give it to a wide receiver and of course you know the attributes go on and on you got receivers magic feet player has the footwork and balance to stay in bounds on sideline catches this happens all the time man when a guy has that ability you know you're gonna need those guys there's some dudes in the nfl that are just good at getting their feet in bounds and making catches look at centonio holmes made a career off that job you know what i mean not every wide receiver can do this. Mr. Third Down. Receiver is clutch in third down situations. What this means is in third down, your player gets a bonus to catching or just making plays. Who in the world cannot understand this happens in the NFL all the time. There are those guys who are just literally in the league that have been in the league for years who are just third down guys. We have one here in Atlanta, Brian Fennerin. I think he's garbage, personally. But because he's 6'4", and because he's been in the league seven years, they feel like, hey, well, you know, he's our third down guy. He can catch a ball or two here and there, blah, 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 blah. Let's just hope that we don't have to get really large third downs. Maybe, you know, we'll be third and three and we can get a hand the ball to Michael Turner. He can run for three, four, five yards. Possession receiver. Receivers particularly talented at running short routes. That means they get a bonus for when, they, when you're running a short route. You know what I'm saying? That means he's probably not going to get bumped as strong on the line from a defender he's going to break defensive coverage and get open on short passes how can you not figure this out you know what i mean um i'm speaking about people who just blow this 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 act this ability system out the water simply because it's just something that they can't wrap their minds around so i'm explaining this to you i'm trying to give you a a, a broader scope and a broader idea of what these act uh, not attributes these abilities really mean how they represent in the game all right be right back we're gonna um continue on um getting a little long in this in this in this in this um in this uh segment so i wanted to split it up be right back 